In December of 2001, the New Jersey Department of Transportation began the process with a blank slate. Initially, staff members identified the specific purpose and need of the project, pinpointing exactly why the roadway was deficient and what needed to be improved in order to develop the safest, most efficient, and sensible design possible to optimize traveling conditions for motorists. The project is a really an interchange improvement project. Basically what's missing today is that there is not a direct connection carrying 295 northbound or 295 southbound through the interchange. The, each of the roadways basically go to a ramp network at the interchange and connect into Route 42 or into uh, I-76. And the proposed project basically will maintain the six-lane roadway, three lanes both northbound and southbound, directly through the interchange and then maintain all the other ramp movements to the other roadways. There's a lot of uh, accidents and uh, traffic congestion out there. Uh, this interchange is like one of the, either it's definitely uh, the worst interchange in South Jersey and probably definitely within the top three of the worst interchanges in New Jersey as far as traffic congestion, accident history. Like I said, it was a big push to finally get this project moving and get it constructed so we can improve the quality of life of a lot of folks down there. Alternative D begins in the vicinity of the Grenlock Secondary Railroad Bridge over I-295. Mainline I-295 shifts slightly south and elevates to a third-level viaduct over Browning Road and Route 42, and a second-level viaduct over Ramp C. The roadway meets existing I-295 pavement north of the Creek Road overpass. The I-295 Alternative D alignment crosses I-76 Route 42 at a skew through an unused area of New St. Mary Cemetery. At long last, the project begins to take shape. The design team reevaluates the findings of the environmental impact statement and work to secure the permits that would be necessary to construct the selected alternative, including environmental permits and access permits. The project team is focused on acquiring the right-of-way that would be required for all construction activities. With the design phase complete, preparations begin to transition the project into construction, bringing the state one step closer to making the Direct Connect a reality. I look forward to watching this project take place. Um, I do want to mention one thing, progress is sometimes painful. There will be nine years of construction work in this area, but if I know Jim Simpson, I know he will make every effort to work around construction projects, make projects work around our daily lives so that there is the least amount of disruption as is humanly possible. Um, this project will improve the quality of life of everyone. It can only be described as an effort to make the roads safe an effort to improve our quality of life, an effort to bring businesses and keep businesses in New Jersey, and I suspect that it will be successful.